Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you Stardust Bath Bomb from Lush. So let's get started. Stardust has a clean, crips, why am I saying crips? Crisp and bright white look and if you look closely, you'll see it's covered in lots of specks of glitter. I hope the camera is picking that up. Now it's a great bath bomb for mixing with other bath bombs or oils and you will find out further in the video. Now I love anything star shaped. Stardust is completely cute, pretty and smells lovely. It has a sweet vanilla smell but it is a subtle scent. Now once dropped into the water, stardust fizzes and dissolves quite quickly. Producing a white fluffy foam, stardust begins to spin around the water and starts to release blue streaks. Now that was surprising. Multicolored mini stars are then released at the end. That was just so precious. From Lush's website, follow yonder star all the way to the bathroom. It will bear exotic gifts of fair trade Ugandan vanilla from the mountains of the moon and precious rosewood from the depths of the Peruvian rainforest. Uh -huh. A twinkly dip in its starlit waters gives a bergamot powered boost to the mind and body. Full of stunning creations for the bath, this shiny star will bring some light to those drab gray winter days. This star-shaped bath bomb has a sweet vanilla scent and an inner blue core. From Japan's Lush website, guided by that star shimmering faintly in the bathroom, the sweet scent of Rosewood's charming woody notes, vanilla extract, and bergamot oil harmonizes in the bathtub which is as beautiful as the sky and makes your skin and soul healthy. If you want a little energy during the winter season, let's take a look at the night sky guided by this star. From here, we're going to be talking about the ingredients in detail. Dominating ingredient is the vanilla fruit extract. Vanilla fruit and the ingredient vanillin extracted from it are commonly used as flavorings in cakes, ice cream, custard, etc. It is a popular raw material as an ingredient in fragrances and is often used in aromatherapy. Vanilla fruit is composed of sugar, vanillin, vanillin, lipids, and mineral salts. Since the sugar content of vanilla acts as a moisturizer which retains water, it is expected to work to keep the skin moisturized, especially when used partially on the skin, hair, and lips. This moisturizing effect creates a protective film on the surface of the skin to keep the skin moisturized. Among the constituents, vanillin is a source of unique scent and is said to have antioxidant properties. Renowned for its sweet, warm, and comforting fragrance, vanilla is also soothing and antibacterial when applied to the skin. Vanillin, its main aromatic compound, is an antioxidant and contributes to restoring the skin's brightness and softness. Vanillin naturally occurs in the pods and is the main source of the characteristic vanilla scent. It has been studied in the past decades and has shown antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and antimicrobial properties when applied to the skin. It has also showed antidepressive properties when ingested or inhaled. The fragrance itself is used for its uplifting, de-stressing, and aphrodisiac qualities in aromatherapy, as well as being an ever-popular note in perfume. The next ingredient is the rosewood oil. Now, rosewood oil is praised in perfumery for its unique, rosy, spicy, and woody aroma with a hint of citrus. Now, in skincare, it is thought to have antimicrobial balancing and conditioning properties. So, this rosewood oil in perfume also blends to give products an uplifting and earthy fragrance. Rosewood oil is also lovely on the skin, providing a powerful cleansing and balancing effect. Now the oil is colorless but has a very spicy, sweet and woody aroma and also has a slightly citrusy smell which pairs very well with the bergamot oil. Now on to the bergamot oil. Bergamot fruit oil. Citrus oil not only refreshes the mind and body but also gives the hair a beautiful luster. The natural fruit acid prepares the cuticles and works to reflect light, giving the hair a shine. It also keeps your skin clean and the uplifting scent is said to give you a sense of well-being. Aromatherapists may use citrus oils to treat seasonal affective disorder known as SAD. Bergamot is, so to speak, sunshine in a bottle. 
The refreshing, sweet, and fruity scent helps to lift and relieve tension. Bergamot oil refreshes the skin and gives hair a great shine. Its elevating, zesty fragrance clears the mind and encourages a sense of well-being. It is said that the oil, which is extracted from the peel, smells like sunshine in a bottle. Its fresh, sweet, and fruity scent, recalling a sweet lollipop, melting in the mouth under a hot summer sun. One of the listed ingredients is also hydroxypropylmethyl cellulose. I hope I said that correctly. Now this is a semi-synthetic which thickens when heated. Semi-synthesis, also known as partial synthesis, is a chemical process that begins with a natural source such as plant material. It is a derivative of wood pulp. Hydroxypropylmethyl cellulose acts as a useful binding agent keeping products stable and can be dissolved in water to create a solution. Where am I going with this information? Well, it is used to make biodegradable decorations found in many lush products. You can see that this bath bomb had an element of surprise because while the bath bomb is working its magic, small colorful stars ebb out and decorate the surface of the water before they all sank to the bottom. And from there, I squished one, and it was just so beautifully tiny and so sparkly. Now, Lush uses synthetic mica and not the natural mica because of the child labor associated with mining the natural mica. So that's why Lush uses synthetic one. It just mimics the effect of the natural mica, but it is made in a lab. Just like the natural mica, the synthetic alternative gives a glittering finish to makeup products, bath products. This is a great bath bomb that does not contain a boatload of luster. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.